Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how in Infinite Campus to quickly fill missing assignments with multiple flags. I have an assignment here that I have given to my sixth graders and it's past due and I'm going to flag it with an incomplete and a missing flag. The incomplete because our county has asked that we flag missing assignments as incomplete during our hybrid education time and a missing because you can use the missing flag to send a missing assignments message home to parents. And you can do this very quickly if you know the steps. So I've got, first thing is I'm gonna show you, I am giving doing this within a section group. So if you are giving the same assignment to multiple sections, you can make a section group of that and do all of your different sections at once. So I have my sixth grade section group open so that way I can do multiple classes at once. I'm going to come over to my writing assignment one and I'm going to expand the assignment. Fill scores comments. I'm going to go ahead and check the box and I'm gonna put a capital letter I in that box for incomplete. And when it's in the select students dialog here, I'm gonna put empty because I don't wanna override grades that are already in there. I'm gonna go fill. And you'll see that every empty slot has now gotten an I and has been given the incomplete flag. Now, I also want to give all of the assignments a missing flag. Here's the really fast way to do it. Above the I, you can see I have 35 incomplete assignments. I'm going to click on that and it's going to filter those out for me. So now I only have the grades marked incomplete. I can come over here and click the letter M. And now all of those incompletes are also flagged missing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clear the filter now. So I come back above the letter I, I'm going to remove filter. And this brings me back to my grade book. And you can see that every missing assignment has both the M and the I flags on it now. And so I'm going to go ahead and save. Another thing that you can do that is very handy is using these uh, filters. I'm going to come back over here and I can filter by missing or incomplete and it's going to bring me back just to those. So in my school system we have decided that a missing assignment will be calculated in the grade as a 60. So what I'm going to do here instead of having to go through and flag all of these as 60s, I can come here, fill scores and comments, select items to fill and I'm going to put the grade of a 60 in here. And I'm going to go ahead and do this to all students, since the only students that are present are the ones that are missing this assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click fill. I am going to keep the missing flag because the assignment has not been turned in. I'm just putting the 60 in there because that's what our school has decided that a missing assignment will calculate as for the time being. So I'm going to keep the missing flag and it fills everything with a 60. Now, Infinite Campus seems to have this bug where it doesn't show up, but I'll show you that these grades really are there. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'm going to clear the filter. When it comes back to the main screen, you know, like I said, Infinite Campus has had this bug where these are grayed out. They seem to be showing up. Sometimes you just have to reload the page. I'm gonna reload the page here. And I'm going to have to go back to my sixth grade section group. A little bit weird sometimes, but here you can see, and I'm going to expand this just to show you that every assignment that has those two flags now also has a grade of 60 entered in there to calculate in the gradebook. All right, hopefully this has been helpful. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.